नमस्कार श्री श्री राम कृष्ण कथामृत तव कथामृत तप्त जीवन कविर्डित कलमशापह श्रवण मंगल श्रीमदादत भुवि गृणंती भूरीदा जना श्री श्री राम कृष्ण कथामृत प्रथम भाग द्वितीय खुंडो आर द्वितीय परिच्छेद दिस इज द सेकंड चैप्टर नाउ इन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर वी हैव सीन श्री राम कृष्ण इज ऑल सेट टू मीट श्री केशव चंद्र सेन श्री केशव चंद्र सेन द वर्ल्ड रिनोन्ड लीडर स्पिरिचुअल लीडर फिलोसॉफर ए ग्रेट ओरेटर अ पर्सन विथ excellent eloquence who has mesmerized the young boys who has got the following of so many of the young calcutta boys bengal boys mm. and shri m and so many others like him they are very curious to know what is it that these two personalities Shri Keshav Chandra Sain, hmm, a well-educated, who has mastery over Western philosophy and the literature, and wonderful, uh, you know, he gives speeches, he writes articles, hmm, a person of his stature, and Shri Ramakrishna, an ordinary priest, a poor Brahmin from. some small village of kamar pukur hmm now he was the priest of uh, mother kali's temple at dakshineshwar till some time back hmm so what is that common factor that brings these two extremely diverse personalities together and not only together they enjoy each other's company a person of keshav stature has started admiring shri ram krishna he has developed such a great devotion for shri ram krishna and that is what these youngsters like m they are curious to know that keshav goes all the way out to come and meet shri ram krishna frequently listen to his talks discuss with him have conversations with him and spend a jolly good time in the company of shri ram krishna of course towards the end of the chapter first of the second section m has given a hint why this is happening why m has become a great devotee of shri ram krishna that although he is a, a, a follower of a formless god nirakar body Mm, still he has brought in that culture of devotional singing in his brahmo samaj so what uh, answer uh, m has given while m is taking us along uh, uh, on on the steamer and giving us a visual tour virtual tour of dakshineshwar temple complex hmm the beautiful the dome of kali temple hmm the chandani 12 temples shiva temples this side uh, six shiva temples this side six shiva temples this side hmm total 12 shiva temples and those two beautiful nahabats one near bokultala where our mast is and other on the extreme end and in between these two nahabats the beautiful garden path with so many beautiful flowers hmm along that path flowering plants flowering trees hmm so shri m has given us a virtual tour also of dakshineshwar while waiting for shri ramakrishna to come down from samadhi come down to the normal plane because we have seen the moment shri ram krishna entered that small boat hmm to come to the place where keshav's steamer is waiting for him to come on board hmm shri ram krishna has entered into samadhi 
Now in that state, he can't climb the steamer. So everybody, all the devotee, Brahmo devotees, and um, they are waiting for Sri Ramakrishna to come to the normal plane, come down to the normal plane from that extremely higher divine realm. And during this time, M has given us this virtual tour of Sri uh, of, of Dakshineshwar. And also, at the end of the chapter, he has told us hmm, about Sri Ramakrishna. What he had mentioned was, hmm, he, he was uh, referring, uh, he was telling us about the view that standing in the steamer, if you look up, hmm, you see the beautiful blue sky of the autumn. Hmm? You look ahead, you see the beautiful temple complex of Dakshineshwar, Ma Bhautarani's temple. And you look down, you see the holiest of the holy Mother Ganges on the bank of which hmm, seers and rishis and munis of ancient times, they have done so much of meditation, they have done so much of tapa, so much of so many austerities they have performed on the bank of this Ganges and today in this age. This is what Sri M has given a hint as to why Keshav has become a devotee of Sri Ramakrishna. Sri M says, Abar Ashite Chen Ekti Mohapurush. Hmm. Again, a great soul has come here on this land on the bank of Ganges. Hmm. Sakhat Sanatana Dharma, absolute incarnation of the eternal Dharma, eternal religion, eternal truth. Hmm. Absolute incarnation. Erup Durshon Manusher Kopale Shurbuda Ghotena. It is not such great fortune to have the vision of this person. To, it, 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 it is an extreme luck. It is extreme fortune to have got an opportunity to see this great soul. To come in contact with this great soul. To have darshan of this great incarnation. Erup darshan manusher kopale sarubada ghotena. Erup sthale samadhishto mahapurushe kahar bhaktir na udrek hoye. Hmm. Koon Pashan Rudhoe Na Bigolothoe. Seeing this person, hmm? seeing this Mahapurush, seeing this great soul in Samadhi, hmm? who will not have a spark of devotion hmm? ignited in his heart, who will be deaf, drift of devotion. It is just impossible having seen such a pious, great soul and incarnation of the eternal truth. Hmm? Even the stone-hearted man will melt in the supreme devotion seeing this person. So Sri Ayam has already answered that question. Hmm? And the, the, the doubt that he had raised. And now here we start the second chapter. The Dvitiyo Purichet with the again the shlok from Bhagavad Gita. This is the very famous shlok that we normally it comes to our mind when we come across someone's passing away. Vasamsi Jiranani Yatha Vihaya Navani Grunhati Naroparani Tatha Sharirani Vihaya Jiranya Nyani Sanyati Navani Dehi. Hmm. Vasamsi Jirnani. Now our uh, uh, <coughs> Swami Chidbhavanandaji. Hmm. Let us take help of Swami Chidbhavanandaji in understanding this shloka. And as usual, what Sri Ramakrishna has to say in relation to this shloka. Vasamsi Jirnani. Vasamsi is clothes. Jirnani worn out. Yatha vihaya, hmm, as having caste, hmm, as we throw away the old clothes, 
Mm, we, we don't like to wear old clothes at all, you know, the, the, the faded, oh, this color has gone, this has torn. We don't like to wear it. So what we do? We just throw away the jirnani vasansi. The one that we wear, when it goes jirna, when it goes old, we throw away. Navani grunhati naroparani. Navani is new. Grunhati takes. Naraha man. Aparani others. Having discarded the old clothes. Hmm, the man takes on new clothes. Ah, beautiful, what a beautiful shirt, what a beautiful sari, what a beautiful dress. Hmm. So old ones are gone. We take on the new ones. Tatha sharirani bihaya jirnan. Hmm, jirnani. Tatha, in the same way. Sharirani vihaya jirnani. Hmm, the old bodies, the bodies when they get old. Hmm, the body, we start getting wrinkles, we, our hair is all white. Hmm, and then a time comes when we just wait to cast off the body in the same way that we cast off our clothes, old clothes. Now, when the body gets old, Mm, that body is also cast away, is also thrown away. Anyani sanyati navani dehi. Anyani is others. Sanyati is enters. Navani dehi. What happens? Mm, when our clothes get old and torn and faded, we discard them, we throw them away, we cast them off and buy beautiful clothes, beautiful shirt, beautiful dress, beautiful sari, beautiful kurta. Hmm. Likewise, our Atman also, when the body gets torn, hmm, when the body gets faded, when it is going to be of no more use, when the body is not going to take the Atman any further, it is not going to give any happiness, any joy, any satisfaction, then the Atman leaves this body and takes a new one. As simple as that. Hmm. As a man casting off worn out garments puts on new ones, so, the embodied, the one who is sitting inside, the one who is dwelling inside, casting off the worn out bodies, enters into a new one. Again, the cycle starts. We come into the world as a newborn baby. We grow, we grow, we grow, become youth and adult and old and then again the new body. Hmm. So, this is the nature of uh, the uh, physical body at the Atman that is indicated in this shloka. And Sri Ramakrishna, what he says, uh, he, his quotation which is matching with this shloka. Hmm. Sri Ramakrishna says, the snake and its slough are not one and the same. Even so, the Atman and the body are different one from the other. Hmm. Instead of giving an example of old clothes being discarded and the new clothes being worn, hmm, Sri Ramakrishna has given us an example of snake and its shedded skin, the slough. The snake and the shedded skin, the slough, they are not the same. That is gone, old, gone, discarded. It is a history. Hmm. In the same way, the Atman and the body, they are not the same. As the body becomes useless, hmm, as the body becomes torn, as the body gets faded, hmm, like the snake discards the old skin, the Atman discards the body and takes a new body. Hmm. 
So that is how Sri M has started uh, the second chapter. Let us now uh, start reading what has happened further. Mm, that after Sri Ramakrishna got into the boat, he entered Samadhi and now everybody is waiting for him to come down to the normal plane. Shomadi Mundire and the topics that are going to be discussed in this chapter are Atma, Abhinashpur, Pobahari Baba. Hmm. Nauka Ashiya Lagilo. Shokole Thakur Shri Ram Krishna ke dekhi bar junno bashto. Bheed huiya chhe. Thakur ke nirapode namai bar junno keshob shoshabashto huile. Onek koshte hunshkuraya ghore bhitar loya jawa huite chhe. Ekhon o bhabashto. Ek jon bhakter upor भोर दिया आशित छे पा नुडिते छे मात्रो क्याबीन घुरे प्रुबेश कुरी लेन hmm. केशबादी भुक्तेरा प्रणाम कुरी लेन किन्तु कोन हूंश नोए घुरेर मद्धे एक्टी टेबुल खान को तक चेयर एक खानी चेयरे ठाकुर के बोशान होईलो, केशो एक खानी ते बोशिलेन, बिजे बोशिलेन, अन्यन्य भक्तेरा जे जे बन पाईलेन, मेजे ते बोशिलेन, अनेक लोकेर स्थान होईलो ना, ताहारा बाहिर होईते उंकी मारिया देखिते छेन, ठाकुर बोशिया अबार Shukole ek drushti dekhiti chan. Hmm, now what has happened? Let us see what has happened. The small boat in which Thakur is coming yeah, has come alongside the steamer. Shukole Thakur Shri Ram Krishna ke dekhi barjun no bashto. Everybody there is eager. They are all just keen hmm, to see and meet Shri Ram Krishna. Bheed hoya chhe. There is a lot of crowd. Hmm. <clears throat> and Thakur ke nirapode namai bar junno keshav shushabashto hoi len. Now keshav, keshav is very anxious. Thakur has entered into samadhi. How, I mean, will he come yeah, on board the steamer hmm. without any harm? That is what Keshav is anxious about. Hmm. So he wants to bring Thakur safely onto the steamer. Onik kushte hunch kuraya ghorir bhitar loya jawa hoite chhe. After a lot, lot of efforts with great difficulty, finally Thakur was brought down from that higher state of samadhi to a lower plane. Now at least okay, he could move. There could be some movement of his body. Hmm. He was brought back to part of the normal consciousness. Not full conscious, fully conscious. No, it was very difficult. And with great effort, okay, at least he could take steps. And somehow he was, people managed to bring him inside the cabin of the steamer. Hmm. Now, cab, cabin ghore probish kori le. Kesho badi bhaktera pronam kori le. Hmm. Kesho and other devotees saluted him. Kintu, kon hunshno hai, but Thakur is still in his own world, in his own divine realm, way up above from this worldly affairs. Hmm. So then the ghore mote ekti table a khon kotok chair there is one table and a few chairs ek khani chair e thakur ke boshon hoilo on one chair thakur was somehow met to met to sit thakur sat on one chair keshav ek khani te bishile boshile Keshav sat on another chair and 
Bijoy Boshilin, Vijay Kushwami, who had accompanied Thakur in that small boat, who was with him at Dakshineshwar. Vijay also, Vijay Krishna Goswami, he also sat another chair. Ananya Bhuktira Je Jamun Pailen, Mejite Boshilin. Other devotees, what happened? They didn't have a proper place even to sit, so they just sat on the floor. Even if there was no mat, nothing, they just sat there, hmm, all anxious to listen to Thakur's words. Unek lokero sthan hoilona. Lot of people, lot of devotees didn't even find a place to sit. So much of crowd, so much of rush of the devotees to meet Sri Ramakrishna. Tahara bahir hoite. Unki Maria de Kitichin, they just stood out and started peeping inside from the door, from the window, somewhere, whichever opening available. Just looking, peeping at Sri Ramakrishna. Hmm. Thakur Boshiya Abar Shamadishto. Just Thakur sat down and again entered in Samadhi. Sampurna Bayushno. Now we know he. The moment Thakur enters Samadhi, there is no knowledge of what is happening in the external conditions. No, no knowledge of external conditions. Shampurna Bhaju Shunyo. Shokole Ek Drushti Dekhitecha. Everybody is looking, just staring at Thakur in that pose of Samadhi. Bhaju Shunyo. <clears throat> devoid of any outer consciousness. There is, he is not knowing what is happening. Keshav is there and the so many devotees are sitting there and standing there, even standing outside, peeping in. Thakur is not aware of all these things. Thakur is with his ma. Keshav dekhilen gorer modhe onek lok. Thakurer koshto hui teche. Bijoye tahake त्याग कुरिया गिया शाधारोन ब्राम्मो समाज भुक्त हुई अचेन और कन्यार विबाहो इत्यादी कायेर विरुद्धे उनेक भुक्त्रुता दिया चेन ताई विजोय के देखिया केशोब एक तु उप्रस्तुत केशोब आशन त्याग कुरिया उठिलेन घोरेरा जानाला खुलिया दिवेन now what happened? Keshav realized that there is so much of crowd. Ah, and with this crowd around, with so many people around, Thakur might be feeling uncomfortable. Hmm. So that was the thought that uh, Keshav had looking at Thakur in deep samadhi and all these people surrounding him. Naturally, I mean, for us also, at times, when we are in uh, the midst of a huge crowd, we feel sort of uncomfortable. And that's what exactly Keshav thought that Thakur might be uncomfortable. Now, what had happened? This Mr. Vijay Krishna Goswami had come with Thakur. Now, Vijay Goswami, at one point of time, he was also a disciple of Keshav Sen in the Brahmo Samaj. Then they had conflicts over some issues. Mm, that uh, on, the, on the one hand, uh, the Keshav and, and the Brahmo Samaj, they were against child marriages. Mm, and Keshav had got his young daughter married. So, it was basically against the principles of the Brahmo Samaj. So, these two friends, they had differences and they parted ways. Vijay Goswami having started Sadharan Brahmo Samaj. Now, Vijay Tahake Tyak Kuriya Goya Sadharan Brahmo Samaj Bhukta Hoya Chen Ukunyar Bibaho Ityadi Kayere Viruthe. And here Vijay had bifurcated from Brahmo Samaj, started Sadharan Brahmo Samaj and had also criticized Keshav a lot for his daughter's marriage. So, uh, 
had these two met just on their own maybe kesha would have uh, turned his face away and walked away but vijay this time has come with shri ramakrishna mm, so although embarrassed fine so the, what happened then keshav ashon tyag kuriya uthilen ghorer janala khuliya deben now he was keshav was like uh, he was feeling that thakur might be uncomfortable with so much of people surrounding him so what he did he got up and opened the windows of that uh, cabin of the cabin of the steamer so that there will be some air flowing in and thakur might not feel that much uncomfortable with so many people around so keshav also in his own way trying to make thakur trying to make sri ram krishna as comfortable as possible and because a lot of things are going to happen once thakur comes down on the normal plane hmm so keshav wanted sri thakur's comfort at any cost so he himself got up he didn't it it was not that he just told somebody hey go open the windows no with all due reverence with all due devotion to sri ramakrishna keshav himself got up from the chair went to the windows opened the windows so that there will be some ventilation the air flowing in going out so that sri ramakrishna is comfortable look look at the reverence look at the devotion that keshav has for sri ram krishna so we will take a break of this uh, second chapter of second section and then we will take up our remaining reading of the second chapter tomorrow till then om namah shri bhagavate ram krishna yo श्री राम कृष्णार्पणमस्तु जय ठाकुर जय मां जय स्वामी जी